ever wondered what we can really do to find true joy and happiness in our lives? Well, Julie, you're going to help us find that out today, okay? Okay. See, a lot of people try to confuse us and they tell us different things. For example, some people say that the way to find true happiness, go ahead and pick that up right there, is to have cool things. You know, if you had a fancy car, go ahead and put it down inside there, that would kind of help fill you up inside it. I'd like to talk to you about the different gifts that we have. It's talked about in 1 Corinthians 12. Now, Julie, there are a lot of different people in this world, mm -hmm. right? Can you go ahead and help me hold these? You see, there are maybe some people, you can hold this one too. There are maybe some people that are really good at coding. There once was a man who had five sheep. Now, Julie, you can count those for us. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. These are going to be our little sheep today. And you know, this man, he loved those sheep so much. So he was really careful to watch over them. So go ahead and put them in the bag one at a time. Let's count them. One, two, three. You know, there are a lot of things in our life that happen that actually make us feel like it's ripping our hearts into pieces. People may say things to us, different situations may happen in our life, and it just feels like our heart has been ripped into. When Jesus walked on this earth, he was an amazing teacher. In fact, people would come from all over the place just to hear what he had to say, and maybe to even be healed by, from sickness or disease. Now, one day, something amazing happened when Jesus was teaching, and my friend Julie and I are going to help tell that story together. See, what happened, Julie, was these people had come from all over and gathered together to hear Jesus, but it got to be towards the end. Now, there are a lot of things that happen to us in life that make us feel well, Julie, reach your hand down in there and see what's inside there. <laughs> dumb, dumb. That's right. You know, there are a lot of things that may make us feel dumb. And people may say harsh words to you. Julie, has that ever happened to you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people say mean things. In fact, they really... <laughs> the Bible is the Word of God. It's God's holy book. In Isaiah 40, verse 8, it says that grass will die, flowers will fade away, but the Word of our God, the Bible, will last forever. You know, there are some people in this world that want to do everything they can to try to destroy God's Word. You know, they will go up to people who believe in God's Word, and they will... You know, sometimes stains seem like it's impossible to ever get out. And a lot of times it's like our lives, they just, they're dirty, and they seem like they're there forever that will never be washed clean. You see, Jesus, he'll take our sin, and he promises us in Isaiah 118 that he'll take us, and even though like our sin may seem like Have you ever felt like there were things in your life that were absolutely impossible to overcome? No matter how much you fought and struggled, you just were not going to get through this. Well, there's a man in the Bible named Joshua who faced something similar. See, a city called Jericho had had a wall built all the way around it. Now, this wall kept people from coming out or going into it, and it really protected that city. So Joshua was... Have you ever heard somebody say, what this church really needs is, or why doesn't somebody fix that? Somebody needs to do something about that problem. You know, it can be really easy for us to see things that we think are wrong and just talk and complain about them but never do anything. Maybe what we need to do is be willing to be somebody to take some action. Now, there's a person in the Bible named Nehemiah who did take some action for God. 